Some colleges and universities are sitting on millions of dollars in emergency federal aid. It's money meant to help students cover the cost of the pandemic. Our partners at Newsy and investigative reporter Patrick Terpstra are looking into why schools still have money left despite students needing help right now. I live off of $700 a month. College students like Jessica Antonio at Arizona State are still waiting on grants to help pay for schooling turned upside down by the coronavirus. I had to get a laptop because the libraries were closing. I had to get a printer. She hoped to get a slice of a $7 billion emergency student aid package approved by Congress sent to universities in spring, part of the CARES Act. The grants range from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars. They were supposed to help students buy a laptop, Wi-Fi hotspot, or other supplies needed for online learning. The education department said the goal is to get this money as quickly as possible into the hands of the students who need it. Universities have to publicly disclose how they're spending CARES Act grant money. Looking at those reports, we found many universities have already given almost every last dollar to students. But we also discovered other schools like Arizona State that still have millions of dollars of aid sitting in the bank. $9.2 million sitting idle at New York University, $4.6 million at Florida State, $3.8 million at the University of Virginia, $3 million at Kent State, and $2.3 million left over at the University of Montana. It makes you wonder, are there people who really would have been helped who didn't get the necessary support from their schools? So what's the holdup? It took the U.S. Department of Education almost three months to finalize rules for distributing the grants, slowing the flow of dollars to students. Universities have a year to award all the funds. Some are saving money for students who might need it in the future, aware gridlock in Washington may prevent another infusion of aid. Our experience has been that schools, you know, wanted to get money out the door and were frustrated by some of the you know, hiccups. Arizona State told us it has distributed $8 million in other aid and given away thousands of laptops. The university says it is reserving a large portion of CARES Act funds for the fall, telling us we were careful and thoughtful in our final CARES Act plan, which reflected input from many, including students. I scavenged. And Jessica I Antonio relied on disability and a local food bank. It's just one of those things where you just have to do what you can. You have to figure out where the support is. No support yet from a CARES Act grant. Her university for now holding on to millions of dollars meant for students like her. In Washington, D.C., I'm Patrick Terpstra reporting.